Hello there, and welcome to Oddventure. Oddventure is a crazy turn-based RPG about the misadventures of Charlie, a girl trapped in a cursed fairy tale world. And this is on Kickstarter right now. So yeah, if you like what you see in this demo, uh, by all means, go and support the game. And the demo is also available for you to try if you want to try it yourself. But uh, let's go. I'm using a controller, so we'll see how. Okay, uh, so one of these buttons, confirm interact, pause, move. Excellent, sounds good. Let's go. Let's start from the beginning. First I was born. Here's me as a baby. No, uh, we're, we're, that's that's not what we're doing. But we're in school. You noisy kids, you're just running and fooling around. Okay, sorry. Oh, you... What, aren't you really getting in my way? My mum made me bre my... Blah, blah, blah. My mum made my breakfast in the shape of an electric mouse from my favourite cartoon. But I left it at home. Aw, oh, man. That sounds bad. Like, that sounds awesome. Like, it's a shame. All right, let's go. Hi, Charlie. Oh no, the lesson starts soon. I have to tell you the newest gossip. Remember when I told you that Ginger Zack got a new girlfriend? Oh, never mind, they broke up. She's chosen that boy with a new gaming console. That sucks, right? I mean, we talking PS5? Cause... <laughs> hmm, you look like an identical twin of the one on the other side. How did I get here? Janitor's tricks. I see. Well, fair enough. Sometimes everything goes well. I bet it doesn't this time. Charlotte, you wrote a really good essay about magical creatures and fairy tales. A plus. Congratulations. Now, today's lesson, I'm going to tell you about one of the greatest battles in Australia's history. Have you ever heard about the Great Emu War? Official sources say that there were no leaders among the emus. But let's not believe that. Better not trust birds. Unless it's an eagle. Gotta trust the eagles. They're good. They're pure. They're sacred. As is a blue tit. I love the art style. <laughs> <laughs> so I was gonna say very earthbound slash mother, um, slash mother free. Like I'm, I'm getting more of a mother free vibe than an earthbound vibe. I know that sounds insane, but I feel like they, uh, they do look very different. Um, How was school, darling? You got another A plus? Well, then someone deserves a reward, I guess. Let's think. Oh, I know. We'll make your favorite pancake. Oh yes, please. <laughs> oh. Now that's my girl. She's smart like a daddy. Honey, but you didn't even finish school. I'll call you as soon as dinner's ready. Sweet pancakes for dinner, that's pretty good. Dad, do you have anything to say? They say here's that here's that, that they say here that hot dogs with mustard under the sausage are healthier. What is the world coming to? Ah, it's a column. We've made a fact. Talking heads are saying smart things. You understand very little of it. That's fair enough. Can I turn off the TV? The new remote has so many buttons. You have no idea what they do. That is fair. That is absolutely fair. Remotes are crazy. Uh, what's this room? The door is locked. Sweet. Then I'm going to go upstairs to my room. I don't know which is my room, but I can't go in this way. Can I go in this one? No. That one's probably my room. <laughs> it's got cool stickers on it. Yeah! I've got an awesome bunny! Your best friend and defender against nightmares. I love it. Excellent. This is my cool chair. An ordinary wooden chair. There's nothing interesting about it. That is not true. I sit in it. That means it's awesome. It's my TV and my games consoles. Father, Duck Adventures, Silent World. Are those the games? Because I want to play all of them. <laughs> An old desk that was handed over to you by your parents. For some reason, they put a smile on their faces. Do you want to do your homework? 
Sure, why not? You know what? I'm a good girl. I'm going to do a really good job. Charlie, dinner's ready. Sometimes the unexpected happens. Like I was cooked waffles instead of pancakes. Oh! We have a surprise for you, darling. Charlie, you're going to be a big sister. Oh, she seems genuinely really happy about it. That's that's really cute. The young princess defeated the evil queen and saved her brother. They both came back to their mother, who was crying from happiness when she saw them on the doorstep. They all lived happily ever after. Hmm? Of course we'll live happily ever after. I promise. Aww. Sweet dreams, my little princess. Oh, This game's really adorable, I love it. The plan was to wait. Okay. Wait for what? Mm. Fast forward, it's a new day. It's another new day. It's an avenue, a lovely day! And winter, 1994. Ooh. I am one at this point. I'm one whole year. Mom? Oh, she's tired and had to go lay down. Better not disturb her. She has to rest. The baby could be born any day now. I don't know when exactly. We must be patient. He'll be born when he'll be ready. Relax till then. You have to take care of yourself for now. Okay. I'm gonna be a big sis. I'm gonna be a great sister. I'm gonna care for my bro. I'm gonna teach him everything he needs to know. I'm gonna teach him how to play video games. He's gonna become a legend. Sometimes things don't go as... Oh... Why did you do that game? Oh. This was so charming and happy. Of course it couldn't last forever. Odd Venture. I'll tell you what. For a demo, this is bloody amazing. Somewhere. Sometime later. An ancient forest. A place so distant, it's almost forgotten. An undisturbed peace helped my ex uh, exceptional creatures to find shelter here. Oh, they're cute! Oh! Oh! <laughs> For it's been long since any human set foot in this wilderness. Except for those unfortunate ones. Yeah, oh god! I am Goose, the soil of worlds! Oh, no, no. Okay. Animal tea party. Okay. Uh, good morning, Mr. Dwarf. You've made it, we see. Please accept our animalist congratulations. And everything would last in a perfect order. Um. Yes. Did you hear that? My little bird brain senses something bad. <laughs> You'll never catch me! <laughs> Run for your lives! Ah! Yikes! It's a m m m m monster! I better stand duck again! Run! Don't leave me! It's mean! Sweet! A ceramic tea set. It seems to be as empty as promises. Oh! <laughs> oh no! You found acorn times one! Excellent. That's what you want. 
Okay, we can't see anything about the animal tea party. A round symbol. Ooh, can I run? Yes, I can. Excellent. Then we are going to run. Ooh, there's a star here. The woods are lovely, dark and deep. But you have promises to keep and miles to go before you sleep. Oh, the stars are safe points. Okay, cool. I love this game so much. This game is phenomenal. I cannot wait for the full version whenever it is ready. Because, man, this is brilliant. And who do we have here? Oh. Another human just passing through this forsaken place. It's hard to judge a voice before I've seen the character. Surprised? Never seen a talking frog before? It's not that unusual here. You'll see far stranger things in this magical forest. I'm Slippy, the Hint Master. And you are- WAIT! Don't tell me. You are... LOST! <laughs> and you seem to be looking for someone. Little, the little blonde guy? He ran along somewhere over that away. Let me guess. He's your troublesome younger brother. And whether you like it or not, you have to look after him. Classic older sister. Where should you go, you ask? That depends a good deal on where you want to get to. This is straight up from Alice in Wonderland. Oh, you don't know? Then it doesn't matter which way you go. I'm just kidding. <laughs> If you went back deep into the forest, you'd starve to death. Alone. It's not a safe place for little girls. I better just stick around until you work out how things work around here. Losers should stick together. Fair enough. Interesting. If I speak to you again. Thanks to my ability to speak like a human, I became a black sheep among frogs. And people think I'm a witch is familiar. But I'm not familiar with any witches. I love this game. That was a false start! Wait! Slippy, join the party! You won't be able to enjoy sweet silence anymore! <laughs> so... We're obviously in a different world. Our younger brother... Was born, but our mum died. And it's been a considerable number of years. I'm guessing we're um, early teens. Brother is like, I don't know, six or seven. I don't know, but I don't know how old we were before. How? Uh, at what age do you get given A pluses for homework? Like, I didn't think that really happened in early, like, um, pri primary school and stuff. Stop! Why are you walking towards that dwarf? Oh no! Didn't your parents tell you not to talk to strangers? I did not talk to the dwarf, he just flashed me. If he drove by in a van and offered you candies, would you get in too? <clears throat> relax, relax, I'm, I'm on your side. <laughs> I just wanted to warn you that this dwarf is ready for action and just waits for a tasty bite. With his teeth, right? I pray with his teeth and not his, um... <clears throat> Fuck! Um, right, but don't worry. I'll give you a quick hint on how a woman should defend herself against such a typical male. Violence used in self-defense is justifiable. Sometimes even inevitable. So go for the eyes or some other weak spot. Hit the bastard! But first, you may need a weapon. I think the bulls are a good shot. Got it! Pine cones? Is that what they are? Gather some cones from under that tree. It's common knowledge, but cones beat nuts! Nicely played. I'm glad I gave the frog this voice. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh no, I don't like it! Oh, I quite like how the battle system is. Oh, right, uh, one more quick hint. You can search for projectiles if you run out of them during battle. Let's get to it! Okay, so we got attack, comfort, backpack, guard. Oh, there's another dwarf in the background, I don't like it. Um, so skills, search, search some ammo, fair enough. We can attack with the acorn. Uh, if you throw it as strong as you possibly can, it may even deal damage to the enemy. It may scratch the enemy a little. I'm gonna scratch your balls. Wait, no, that's not what I wanted. Um, 
War. No, you attacked me, but it didn't do much, which is good. I'm gonna throw another cone at you. Can I see how much damage, like, how much HP have you lost? There we go, you're dead! Okay, so you can't see how much health they have. That might be something you unlock, but I'm not sure yet. I got a sparkler and some dwarf berries. Nicely played, dwarf berries, very good. I also got one M. Is that milk? Could be. Oh, that's not the same dwarf, that's a different dwarf. Oh, feel bad. Oh, darn. It's all her fault. I had nothing to do with it! Slippy left the party. Oh, thanks. Great, Slippy. You're, you're a diamond. Thank you. Picked up a red hat. Oh, I didn't mean to steal that, but I have. So, <laughs> uh, if I go to the menu, inventory, uh, key items, maybe? A reminder of your choices. Oh, no, that's... Okay, that's not. I don't want to drop it. Okay, I just wanted to see if I could maybe put it on. The poster shows a picture of a missing girl. You have no clue who she may be because she has a freshly drawn pirate patch. Additionally, the name was changed to Pirate Girl. Yar! Must be Bonzo's doing. It's pretty cool. Let's save! Not all those who wander are lost. Ooh. Interesting. I love this game so much. This game is phenomenal. Well, we didn't run far from the crime scene. We better hurry before some forest police gets us. So close, and yet so far to slip away from the law. Not so long ago, the ground here didn't have holes like a Swiss cheese in it. Nobody knows why those creatures woke up and came from the underground. You have to put them back where they belong. Get to it, kid! Alright. No! Oh! oh, I feel bad. As I should. I think I, I think I killed that hole. I do feel bad. Like this is cruel. Oh, have I screwed up? Maybe. Yes, maybe. Uh, if I leave and come back. Frogs first! Yeah, if I leave and come back, does it reset? Um, I have to speak, speak to you first. Salut! What took you so long? Maybe we should think of an alternative, uh, so you don't screw up again. Okay, okay. So we didn't screw up again. So we don't. Better? We're crime buddies, after all. Anywho, sometimes a simple misunderstanding can lead to a fight and unnecessary aggression. What if you just need to increase the opponent's mood? The enemy may stop being so hostile and just walk away thanking you. Oh, that's cool. There are also people who lack empathy, who try to emotionally crush their enemies. You can break just about anyone and even the toughest guy can run away crying. Oh, interesting. The curse word. And there are people who mercilessly finish their opponents off, even after humiliating them. I hope you're not this kind of person. Even if... It's not my business. Morality is complicated. Eat, be eaten. You're a smart person. You'll figure it out on your own. Alright, can I go back? Oh no, it is still there. Oh no. I don't know. I don't know how I could have done that. Could I have gone there? Uh, oh, maybe I could have. Maybe I could have gone under and kicked it. Ah, oh, it's a one-time thing. I've blown it. Oh well. Those are the lessons we. Oh, creep! What an absolute creep! Oh my god, this dwarf is a real tough guy. Your projectiles may not hurt him. Try to rationalize him or hurt him with words. So is that comfort? Uh, skills. Okay, here we go. So, but I don't know... I don't know which one it is. I guess I'll curse word you. Oh, that didn't help. What if I was nice to you? Oh, okay. 
Okay, yeah, being nice is good. Oh, okay, this is this is really interesting. Oh, look, you seem super happy. Oh, oh. You were so happy that your bull shrunk. <laughs> you moved away peacefully, and I got smelling salt, a sparkle of common candy, and a gift, and some milk, maybe. I think we've discovered your superpowers. You're a powerful mood man, sir. Remember that with a greater power comes great responsibility. In that case, maybe it's worth listening to some advice. As you can see, I don't call myself the Hint Master for nothing. Those first ones, although priceless, were freebies! I can give you a set of tips for a discounted price of only two jars of rock milk. What do you say? Come on, I know that's what you need. Sure, I have two jars. And now we're talking! What would you like to know? Uh... Good mood, why not? The better your mood is, the more your willpower increases. It's harder to make you cry, or you can get annoyed. Oh, okay, get you annoyed. Uh, you can also increase the mood of your allies, just in case. Comfort is always an option, especially when someone starts to cry or gets annoyed. What about the enemies? Uh, I don't know. I've never thought of comforting them. You could be the first <laughs> who tries. <laughs> and if your mood is particularly good, you'll have a pleasant surprise. What kind? How do I know? I've never felt such happiness. Oh boy, I'm so lonely. I, I, I'm not crying. You're crying. What would you like to know? Uh, enemies. Sometimes it's difficult to recognize an enemy from afar. You may see what you're dealing with only after you move a little closer. Additionally, some enemies may see through your mind tricks. Then, all you can do is fight. Peace was never an option. What would you like to know? Okay, so, fair enough. The worse your mood is, the louder your fists speak. But not only them. Your words hurt more too. Just watch out not to overdo it. You can end up in a state that's not so easy to come back from. What would you like to know? I'm gonna end the talk there. One more thing. Practice makes perfect. The more enemies you convince not to fight, the better you'll become in doing so. Same if you end the fight in other, less pleasant ways. You know what I'm getting at, right? Sure. Actually, is that a thing I can pick up? Ooh, dwarf berries, yay! Me? A human? I'm a rabbit! A rabbit! I'm not human! Rabbit! Rabbit! That's what rabbits say, don't they? I've heard it with my own ears, I swear! I believe you. Chirp! Chirp! I'm just an animal! Don't mind me, Missy! Oops, I mean, uh... <clears throat> chirp! Chirp! Again, I definitely believe you. I've got a lot of acorns. I wonder if there's like a limit to how many I can carry. Dwarf berries. Is there something in that bush? There totally is. It's a creepy dwarfy. You attacked me. That is extremely rude. I'm going to be kind to you. And hopefully you will stop attacking me as a result. In fact, you might give me gifts. I love the idea of being kind and getting stuff for it. It's really cool. You were kind to me, so I won't attack you in a very creepy way today. You're welcome. Oh, I didn't get milk this time. I wonder if that's because it's, uh, like I, I got milk because I was, I needed to learn tips. So it was guaranteed to give me stuff. I guess we'll find out how the game works. Oh, is that a big banana? You found us! <laughs> You said that you'll get us so deep into the forest that nobody will ever find us. Be calm, Missy. We're not some perverts. We were just having fun with him like animals. Oh no, she's getting mad again. Don't worry, little human. We'll save you. Mr. Rabbit.
Is this a giant banana? Looks more scaly than a banana. Another ceramic tea set. You notice the initials JG written on the teacup. JG. Oi! <laughs> Hello. Oh. It's mushroom. Oh, Mad Hatter. Uh, let's see if I can. Oh, oh, well, that was weird. I tried to do it. It wouldn't let me straight away. Oh, you are hurting me. Um. Oh man, this is bad. Uh, I'm dying. Uh, what if I increase your mood? What if I'm super ha nice to you? You, please don't kill me. No, don't hurt me. So it said two, but also minus six. What's the difference between those numbers? Oh, one of them's mood, one of them's HP. Right, 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 got, I gotcha. I'm gonna make you super happy. Yeah, give me gifts. Brussels candy. And I did get milk, nice. Um, if I go to my inventory, consumables. Uh, increase the mood by 30, that's handy. Restore 50 HP. A birthday gift! 20% of HP. Uh, okay. Makes your mood neutral again. Oh, that's really good. Restores for the HP but lowers mood a bit. Oh. Okay, so I'm gonna have one of these. I'm gonna have one of these. There we go. That's cool. That's very interesting. I really like this system. Oh, I can't carry any more of them. Okay, so there is a limit how many I've got. Probably got like 9 or 10 or something. Cool. Is there something behind here? I thought for sure there might be. Make a little secret. This game is amazing. I really love it. I don't know how long the demo is, but it's pretty lengthy. Very impressed. You feel lonely, Oh. Yeah, this is a long corridor. Or part of the forest. It's not a corridor, it's a open air. The spark of hope begins to fade, oh no. Oh, it's getting darker. That's not good. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. This is bad, isn't it? Oh no. Yeah, it seems bad. <laughs> Bye. He was always just a burden. Oh no. <laughs> it's all his fault. <laughs> he wouldn't do the same for you. Ugh. Let's play tag! Oh. Now you're the one running. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I love this game. <laughs> wow. Oh no. Oh no! Uh... Go! Run faster! Uh... Oh, I'm super dead. Not everything's lost yet. I know it's hard, but you can't give up. As long as you're alive, there's still a spark of hope. Let's collect that spark. Ooh. Luckily, I was in the right place at the right time. There are paths you better not walk alone. Those creatures can get you when you least expect them. Oh, where are my manners? My name is Jack Grimm. I live near, nearby in the hut, just uh, by the forest's edge, and help those who need helping. You're looking for your brother? He must be hungry and thirsty after such a journey. Nobody thinks straight on an empty stomach. It's better to go inside before anything else decides to show up. 
funny. I'll take a cone. Can't carry any more nuts, right? No, oh, sorry, acorn. There's a well. There's a golden ball at the bottom of the well. You can still see the light through the depths. Can I get the golden ball? Kind of want it. Come, don't be scared. I know. Ah! Mind the flowies! Oh, poor things. They have feelings too. Let's go inside before any more plants suffer. Oh! I feel quite bad about that. Your brother really likes to play tricks, I see. Does his unruliness bother you? Hmm, I see. It's not always easy with him. It seems that your problem just solved itself. Those oddballs you saw are my subordinates. I know where they might have went. I'd be happy to help you get back home. But in order to do that, I'll need your help first. Bring those two helpless souls back to me. Here you go. You received a lucky charm. It's a magic pendant that brings luck. You might need it during your journey. Follow the path east. Uh, they couldn't have gone far. Uh, one more thing before you go. Can you check my broom closet? I think I have something that might interest you. Yeah, I don't like where this is going. Adventures of Jack Grimm, a travel journal. I've always known that I belong here. That is why I decided to stay and bring help to all exceptional creatures. He's either going to be a genuinely nice person or he's going to be a massive creep and I cannot tell which. Beyond the cool and lame, flirting for dummies. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Pile of books with weird sounding male names. Okay. Classic pipe, everyone picks their own poison. The metal stove seems like a proper thing to have in a wooden hut. We all need some warmth, yes. Okay, let's check this broom closet, it's definitely not gonna kill me. It's a safe fine! Okay, that's pretty cool. The essential things in life are seen not with the eyes, but with the heart. That is actually a really great quote. If you came up with that, creators of this game, that is amazing. If that is taken from someone else, I would like to know who said that, because it's beautiful. After searching the bucket, you found a weird candy with a note saying, eat me. You found Brussels candy one. I thought it was going to be like, you found a drink, but it said drink me. But yeah, fair enough. we got to complete the set. <laughs> I feel bad, but it must be done. Because I kind of want to see what happens. Solid wooden door with a metal lock. You need a key to open them. Oh no, my flower, your flowers. Occupied, okay. I wonder what happens if you actually trample on all of them. The game made a point about it, so that's why I'm doing it. Like, I wouldn't do it if the game didn't, like, make a big deal out of it. Oh no! The duck of danger! But we haven't got any more food, Mr. Duck! It was nice knowing you, Dodo! Mr. Rabbit, I don't want to die! Oh no, we let it fell out of the frying pan into the fire! Move along, not from the sea here! Yeah. Yes, I'll react. You don't miss him, do ya? You had your chance to walk away! Save us! We're just harmless animals! Do you want to learn more about the abilities of those two special creatures? Yes, please! Okay, so happy happy song. Song so happy it will literally hurts the enemy and lowers its mood with chance of weakening the target. Um, Mr. Rabbit shields the targeted ally with his own body for the first time for the first incoming attack ability. Okay, so the happy happy song is probably helpful because it lowers. Oh, it lowers its mood. Okay, right, that might not be great. Do you think that even though if you have a chance against me, let's see how it Okay. Oh, Rabbit and Dodo work together. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. You are screwed! Ugh. Okay. So. Can I see what your mood is? Um. What's in my backpack? Right, stuff to move when I'm Okay, so. If I. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna lower your mood. 
I'm gonna make you angry. I'm gonna be, it literally hurts the enemy and lowers its mood. Lowers the... Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Okay, let's see. Oh, oh God! Oh, we are screwed. Yeah, no, we're dead. We're dead as hell. No. Pathetic. I've even lost my appetite. So long, suckers. That was meant to happen, right? <laughs> yes, yes, it was. I was saved. You, you're not a bad person, Missy. That's how you make it that bonzo. You're a very good big sister, and you take care of your brother. I've changed though those voice like a thousand times. I can't remember what I did the first time. Luckily, he's all right. He's standing right there. Uh oh. Be calm, Missy. If you didn't meet him on the way, he can't be far. Maybe he went to seven over manly dwarves. With, in fact. Some say they were brought up by a single father. And because they didn't have a mom, he had to breastfeed them, them himself. Uh. We'll come with you and help you. But I think we should heal up first. Maybe we'll find something useful in that box over there. Okay, cool. We got another tea set. My ceramic tea set. It's all empty and looks unused. Sweet. And a box. For healing, presumably. You found Chill Pill 2 and Common Candy 2. Ah, uh, that's not what I want. I want inventory. So, Chill Pill and Common Candy. So, if I... I'm gonna use that. Oh, and it can be used on both of us. And... I'm gonna heal... I'll heal us both. That'll do. Okay, cool. Interesting. I like. No! Creepies! Oh boy, they're attacking first. Okay. Yeah, this is very interesting. I like this a lot. Okay, so. Uh, if I attack you with a cone. Go throw a cone at you. And I'm gonna. I'm gonna just attack them. Oh, okay. They do quite good. Not bad, not bad. Oh man, more dwarves. Okay. This is potentially bad. Um, just damage lowers the mood. I'm gonna lower your mood. I was mean to you. I was sort of hoping it would kill you. Man, they are quite powerful as it turns out. Yeah, this is interesting. Oh, the one on the right is stinky. What does that mean? <laughs> I genuinely don't know. Is that going to kill you? You've got a broken heart. Oh, interesting. Oh, does that hit all of them? No. I don't think so. I'm going to try and boost... Oh, no. Oh, no. That's not good. Okay, I'm going to boost your mood. I'm going to try and make you happy, and I'm going to try and kill the mushroom. Okay, that's not going well. This game's quite difficult, actually, um, but I really like it. It's really cool. I think what would be a good thing to improve would be to have, like, a separate, uh, like, position for your character. Like, so, if I attack with Rabbit and Dodo, um, when I switch to Charlie, my thing is set to attack, but last time it was set to skills. I feel like they should be separate, if that makes sense. So that I can focus, because I'm focusing on one thing for one character and another for another. I think it would just be easier that way, but I could be wrong. I feel like this is going really badly. I'm trying to make you super happy and it's not working. Man, yeah, we are dying. Uh, that's not what I wanted. Could you be happy now and stop attacking me? Oh, I've just realized they're attacking just because they're angry. Oh, interesting. Oh, they're depressed. Oh, man. This suddenly got really hard. Um. Uh. This is very interesting. I'm trying to make the dwarf happy. 
please. Uh, I want to attack the mushroom. I think a dwarf just mooned me in the background. We are gonna die. Like, we're actually gonna die. Oh, jeez. Yeah, no, really. Uh, this is not going well. I think I'm a dead man. Uh, backpack. I need to heal, like, right now. Uh, this one will do. Veggies are good for you. I am depressed, which is not good. Um, I can fix that depression with an item. Oh, but it's forcing me to attack because I'm depressed. That's not great. There's a lot of stats on me right now. Oh my god. I like the combat system. I don't fully understand it, though. I think that's my biggest problem right now. There's a lot that I've been taught, and I don't re I haven't really had a chance to experience it, if that makes sense. Oh, I'm dead. I'm actually gonna die. Yeah, I'm dead. Um, yeah, I haven't really had a chance to experience it. Because the game just... Oh, what's my settings like at the moment? Uh... Okay, so we're literally before that battle began. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, we haven't really had a chance to experience what it's all about. So... Yeah, it's, it's interesting. I like this a lot, but I don't, like, fully know how... It works, I guess. I guess it's, it's just, it's something that we'll learn over time. That's fair enough. Okay, let's try again. So, I'm gonna try and boost the mood of the... Uh, the dwarf. From the get-go. And I'm gonna try and attack the Mad Hatter and see what happens. And hopefully, if all goes well, we will win this time. Because, yeah, I think the dwarf is getting happier faster. I think it's down to our mood. Depending on our mood, you'll it will be faster or slower, uh, which makes sense, which is fair enough. There we go. Yeah, Rabbit and Dojo don't really have a way of making the uh, dwarf happy, right? Or do they? No, not really. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna stick with what I'm doing. Okay, good. This is good. So if we just do the happiness, you will leave. Okay, that went much better. Okay, I sort of get it now. It is a little confusing, but I, I get the general idea. Ah, I can't escape you. You're fast. Okay. So I guess... Oh, it's not helpful that you go first. Um, I guess a good thing to do would be to heal us. Um, low, oh, that lowers mood, though. That's not great. Um, HP... I guess we'll both use HP increases. Um... That seems like a solid plan. Okay, so, how do I want to deal with this? Um... They're not angry, so comfort won't really work. I'm gonna look for... Oh. Cool. Um... Let's go with that, why not? Oh, but it doesn't... Mm. I don't know, yeah, I don't know what I want, because that lowers the mood. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna... I'm gonna neutral Charlie, and I'm going to... Try and be nice to one of them, and see how much it does. Because I don't know how much, in terms of niceness, it requires. Okay, that's not bad. I'm gonna attack the one on the right then. Can be nice to the one on the left, attack the one on the right. That sounds like a plan, and hopefully it works. Am I poisoned as a result? Nope. I thought I might be because you're smelling of stuff, but no, we're good. 
Yeah, I think four of these will do. Yeah, this is a really interesting mechanic. There's a lot going on. <laughs> there is a lot going on, but it is very cool. I'm gonna attack you and hope you die. You do. Um, the downside is Charlie is confused. Okay, there we go. Happy. Oh, that's not good enough. Uh, I should probably heal you. Uh, no, I shouldn't use that. That's a bad idea. I'm gonna use the berries. And then I'm going to give you happiness. And you're gonna leave. Thank you for walking away peacefully. Yay. Give me some candy. Oh, become a better person. Mood increase plus one. I'm gonna assume that's good. It seems good. Oh no. Bonzo, grab it with both hands. Oh, that's right. We'll make a man out of you today. You won't be an innocent child anymore. I think they're giving Bonzo a hard time. It sounds like fun. It does not. It's weightlifting. Wow. Charlie! Oh, you must be the older sister of our young, of our little strong man. You should be proud of him while well, you still have a younger brother. We also had a younger brother. It was his birthday lately and he became a mature dwarf. Because of that, he went on his three day trial which would make a man out of him. He should have come back this morning. Something must have happened. Please help us. Our legs are so short that searching the whole forest would take ages. And we have muscle sores because we didn't skip leg day for the first time yesterday. Sis, we have to help them. I can show the hat. Uh, have you seen him? I beg you. Help us bring him back. We'll return the favor. Folks, have you seen and heard the news? I've been looking for our brother and I heard the king's daughter has been kidnapped. Oh, fate. Destiny doesn't favor family relations today. Woe unto us. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll go get him. And where are you going? I was going to get you, bro. You look at all measly. I'll give you some super manly nutrients to get you back on your feet before you continue your journey. Doors fed you some super manly nutrients. Your body feels better and super manly. Yeah. Those dwarves are just like in the fairy tale, sis. Yeah, Bonzo joined the party. Even though you don't want to hear it, he tells you everything he learned from the dwarves. Bonzo gets sneaky, tries to avoid enemies' attacks, and kicks its leg, which can annoy him. Increase enemies' mood and may cause laughter. Okay, that's handy. Let's go! Okay, you've got some good stuff. A crumpled training dummy. Looks like someone wrestled with it. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. True. What killed me made me uh, feel real bad. Um. You can't pass here. Come back later. I can't believe it had to fall down at a time like this. Sheesh. I have an idea. Oh, sorry. I have an idea. Let's make a ladder out of ourselves and Mr. Rabbit can climb up. How will the rest of us go through? Oh, oh sorry. How will the rest of us go through? Oh, I didn't think of that. Ducks! My best plan was a bust. That's okay. You can come up with another plan later. But first, we got to get the bro of the dwarves. Because we've seen... Oh, there's actually berries here. I should probably get them. We'll need the berries. Oh, I keep running over the flowers. I feel mildly bad about this. I wonder if there is a punishment for it. Well, as it stands, like, we, uh... We have taken out all the enemies thus far, so it seems like we don't have to fight them. Which is quite handy. That might not be the case forever. But for now, at least. Um, I will go see um, the person here 
But I should probably go find the dwarf's brother first. Man, so how different would this have been if I didn't pick up the hat? Could I have at least said that I've seen them? Oh, wait, where is this? Oh, yeah, because this used to be the long path. Oh, this is different. Interesting. Oh, Rabbit and Dodo's still here. Okay, good. Um, I'm gonna increase the enemy's mood. Rude. Wow, they are very, very ferocious. I'm gonna attack the one on the right. Hmm. <laughs> I just started laughing. Interesting. Oh, I'm attacking them because I'm angry. Oh, that's not good. I'm attacking the wrong one, though, which is really bad. No, stop it. Uh, I want to, yeah, I want to increase your mood. Because two of us doing it will be handy, right? Yeah, there we go. That's good. And then, let's go there. Then let's have you attack the one on the right. Let's have you increase the enemy's mood. Gotta do this. One more should do it. There we go, you're gone. I got a present! Sweet! And now we're gonna kill you. Yay! Good. We did it! We got a present, common candy, chill pill, some gold, I think. You found a pebble! We can carry pebbles. Oh, there's a chest here. Lovely. You found Common Candy 1 and Sparkler 2, yay! Not bad, not bad. This game is so charming. I love it. There's, it's, a, it's mildly confusing at times, but I'll just get better as time goes on. Hello? Okay, how do I want to deal with this? So, I guess I should find... So you... You sneaky, you try to avoid an enemy and then you kick them in the shin. Oh, but only if they attack, I guess. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know how that works. Um, I'm going to throw a pine cone at you. I'm going to attack you. Oh, that one didn't work. That's not great. Ah, okay. So it's a, it's a two-turn attack, I see. But I think I can also avoid just generally being hurt. Which is handy. Damn it. <laughs> I guess I should see what a standard attack will do with, uh, with Bonzo. Wasn't super good. Oh no! Bonzo is a child! I guess I'll try and make Bonzo happier. Man, it's a mad hand not dead yet. Like, come on. I've attacked you so many times. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna make you happy. Um, I should probably heal. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna heal you. And then, uh, increase your mood. Did that work? I don't know if it did, actually. Oh, we all seem in a bad mood. That's not good. I'm gonna try and increase your mood anyway! Uh, do we have any pills? Uh, we do, but that's not great. But we have this. I'm gonna give it to... Charlie! So, one small recommendation, like, it flashes the person... It flashes on the person that you're highlighting. If you could also do it to the name, that would be helpful because, like, at first I thought before I was on Rabbit and Dodo because I was looking at the name, uh, and I think people might just get confused about that. Um, I mean, it's a it's a very minor thing, but I think it's something that would just increase or improve um, understanding. 
I should probably try the present and see what it does. Oh, we got loads from that. Wow. That's pretty good. We can pick up some more cones, which is nice. Oh, can we actually pick up the mushrooms? No, we can't. I say, we haven't actually tried. So where does this put us? Okay, so this is the other tea set. Which is fair enough. And it was... Oh, I can't remember exactly where. Just to the left of here, I think. Hiya, gang! <laughs> what? George Washington? Oh, why are you giving me strange nicknames again? Hi, hi! I see you're back in one piece. Heroes always come out of trouble in one piece. Ha! <laughs> He's so cute and innocent. I'm sorry, but we're in a hurry to save a dwarf. Then I guess there isn't much time left. I've just seen the big hungry wolf taking a whiff at him. Let's go! Was that hint for free? It seems like it was, which I appreciate. We can't... I wish we could, like, pull it back. Oh! Maybe I could have. It wasn't in the same place. Oh, I don't know. Oh well, never mind. I messed up. That's how it goes sometimes. I should probably save just in case. Because we might be coming up to a boss fight. Because <laughs> this is where the dwarf was. Oh no! And what if he eats us too? We can't just scare him away somehow, chappy. Or Ch Chaplin, is that what it said? Maybe it said Charlie. I, I misread. Dyslexia is good. You're good at that. I'm not the one you're supposed to scare. Jeepers. He's gonna gobble him up like a chicken. Sis, I found your old report cards with some great grades on them when I was in your room. You must be very smart. Think of something. Think of something. Walk straight up to it. Oh boy. Okay. Let's try and make your mood happy first. Oh jeez. That is not good. Uh, that is not good. Um, I'm going to assume I don't have a way of reviving. Try gift. Oh, gift is thrown at an enemy. Whoa! Whoa, gift just outright takes away. Whoa! It just beats the enemy. Wow, okay. Thank you for saving our little brother. Those are some good news! <laughs> no problem, Mr. Mid. Oh no, that's, a, that's not a word I would use. That's what heroes are for. Well, we'll make sure that everyone will hear about how you helped us. And here's your reward. I forget all the voices I gave you. We should get going. It's getting dark. The night is scary. I'm even scared to go pee alone after dark. Okay, bye. We did it. I beat the wolf by giving it a present. Okay, so a present just gives it 300 happiness. I think that's what that did, which is pretty handy. And potentially broken. But I've got a lot of presents. So actually there's no reason not to use them. I've got I think f two left. Maybe three. So yeah it's, it's pretty pretty valuable. But you can get them fairly easily. Just be kind to people. So interesting indeed. Oh. Oh. That's not good. Oh. Oh, this is going to be sad. What book's on the chair? I don't know. Oh, probably the book she read to us. Oh, no. <laughs> Caught. Okay. You've suffered so much. I know it's hard. But I'm always here with you. I 
will help you get where you belong. Oh no! I see. So you ended up here the same way I once did. The difference is that I decided to stay. I have some good and bad news for you. The good news is there is a way to get back. The bad is if you won't hurry up, you'll stay here forever. In the best case scenario. But be warned, as the road is long and winding, surely more than one battle awaits you. And the toughest enemy you can meet will always be yourself. Don't worry, as long as you're determined, the spark of hope won't fade. You have a special gift that can change reality around you. Be smart about how you use it. Firstly, you have to go to the king. Go. You have to go the king of this land. I think go to the king. Um, he's called Godwin, the good and the Godwin the good, and he rules over this land, the kingdom of Luxia. Lucia, Luxia. If there's anyone able to help, it's definitely him. Take Mr. Rabbit and Dodo with you. They know these lands well. They might be useful. Will you take care of her? <laughs> you know it! Just not like you took care of that plant you were supposed to look after when I was away. Don't worry, Charlie. You're in good paws! And wings! Maybe I won't have to go and look around for my teacups all over the forest for a little while. There's no time to waste. Off you go. You know where to find me, just in case. Man, how long is this demo? I thought for sure it was going to end there, but no, it has not. There is more. Can we go in here? We cannot. Need a key to open it. Can we go in the outhouse? We cannot. Someone is in there, though. If you'll need my counsel, you know where to find me. I'm always ready to help. I have a feeling we'll see each other again. Anyway. Oh, is this the end? Wait! There's one more important thing we've forgotten about. Missy, we need to gather some funds before we can go further. We have to start a Kickstarter campaign. Nah. Hey, right, sis. If our Kickstarter, we may not even have where. We we may not even have where to go. Or anything to eat. Or anything to eat. Oh no! I don't want to starve to death. We may need to go with, live with the dwarves. <laughs> Convince them, Chumley. You're good at this kind of stuff. Nah. <laughs> All right, that's pretty good. Thank you for playing, we hope to see you for the Kickstarter. Man, that was awesome. That was awesome! I loved it, I really loved it. All of you, everyone who has worked on this has done a phenomenal job. I am so excited to see how this evolves and whatnot. I think there's a couple of things that could be altered uh, and updated to maybe make it uh, make more sense for newcomers because um, there's clearly a very intricate system here and it's very effective I feel like there was just so much being thrown at me I don't understand all of its intricacies um, and there was a lot that I just got confused on here and there um, but yeah you've got something pretty special here and I am very excited to see how it evolves it's, oh, it's so fun so fun so yeah if you enjoyed this, go check out the Kickstarter, support it if you would like to, uh, and if you don't have money to support, which is fair enough, I totally get that. Um, or, um, yeah, maybe uh, follow them on Twitter and stuff, um, and check up with uh, updates of the game, because, yeah, there is something special here, and I cannot wait to see what happens. So, thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, share the video around, also for Twitch or Twitter and a Patreon if you'd like to support me in the channel, and of course, go and support the Kickstarter, link in the description. And thank you for watching, I'll see you next time, take care, bye bye.